Hello and welcome to Modern Toy Fair News, the weekly show that talks about toys. I am your host, Michael, and with me as most of the time, my YouTube wife and co-host, Jamar underscore games. How are you this week, Jamar? Hi, I'm pretty good. I had a quite interesting beginning into the year. Uh, I had to go on a apology tour for some tweets that may or may not have happened. Um, so yes, I just put, uh, I like to apologize to all the cat owners out there. I'm sorry for what I said. Yeah, it was it was pretty brutal. Uh, I'm glad that you were able to to make amends and they forgave you, so you can come back on the show. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, for anyone who doesn't get what's going on right now, <laughs> last week was the first episode of, of 2021 and Jamar decided that uh, he wanted to have that day off. So uh, Scheduled. We, we, <laughs> day off. we decided to, to claim that he had some bad tweets and we had to forever endeavor him. Um, <laughs> But if you are new to the show, regardless, the way it works is we break down the news of the week that I have deemed worthy of the next hour-ish of your life, and then we do weekly purchases and send you on your way. So let's go ahead and get right into it. We're going to start off this week like we do most weeks with McFarlane. Oh, man. First, we got three new Walmart exclusive, oh boy, gold label images of Spawn, Curse of Apocalypse. DC Multiverse Batman Earth 52, the gold variant, and the Warhammer 40k Blood Angels Primaris Lieutenant. No dates or pre-orders, but I'm sure they'll be coming soon. That's not all, though. We also got a look at some in-hand photos of the Last Night on Earth wave of DC Multiverse, which apparently, I'm guessing it's overseas, so I don't know if it's somewhere close to the factory or if it's just hitting europe before it hits the states but we did get to confirm that the build of figure bane is bigger than the initial concerns however his legs have zero forward or backward motion literally at the hip you just twist the legs back and forth and that's (laughs) it Uh, the pictures are courtesy of little toys bigger world on facebook and i now I'm even more turn or like torn turn torn on this line because the fact that he's like actually at a decent size scale wise right. to the rest of the figures I'm like oh damn now I need all four but then it's like he's he's a fucking statue come on Todd <laughs> like I, I mean <sighs> it's the legs so I mean in most poses you you should be able to like pull it off and make it look well I mean I know some more action y I mean, realistically, you know, I, I, realistically, the the comic that this is based off of, Bane's not running around doing splits and shit or really anything. He's literally just Igor carrying around freaking Scarecrow. So it's not the yeah. end of the world, but still the principle of it. Like, yeah. with all these, I mean, hell, even motherfucking Mattel, who had this line two years ago, was able to make quality build of figures that were scaled to the line and fully right. articulated. It's just, it's just, <laughs> it's just so infuriating because I want to, I want to like this line, Jamar. I do. Yeah, I know because initially you said like the size, and then you're like, to people's concerned, and by people you mean you. No, it was. I was, I was not alone <laughs> no, I'm on this. Just I'm just <laughs> but that was kind of like, oh, that's really good. Like, mm-hmm. and then you know, yeah, and then I, it was like, oh, but his legs just fucking twist. Yeah, um, it, I mean, he, you can just he has do knee articulation, cannon. though. <laughs> oh, shoot. I was going to say, you could just say that his legs are fused because of, you know, some damage to his nerves. I don't know. Yeah, the but, venom yeah, was just he too can much bend for his knees. Yeah, he can, he bend, can his bend his fucking knees, but, but not can't, his can't hips. move his hips. God <laughs> damn it. Uh, it yeah, that's, that's interesting. <laughs> I mean, and regardless now, the fact that he's at least tall enough, because the McFarlane line, I'm not, I'm not putting it in dioramas and, and taking like super cool pictures right. like they're cool i'll play with them and then they'll go on my shelf uh of, of my like miscellaneous like sets that aren't like mezco and neca so it's, you. so it's not very i mean I, I like i still pose them decently um yeah so it's not like the end of the world i'm gonna now get all four of these just because at least that one major problem is is done for which also yeah. infuriates me because I went from being like, I have to spend no money on these. So now I'm going to spend fucking, what, $100 because they're 25 each, I think? Yeah, at least. Is is that a... 
his tank top is that like a soft goods no or is that just like it's just really well textured and sculpted wow that looks that's impressive right like it the figure looks great like the sculpt is fantastic still not a fan of his zombie gray skin because he is not gray in the comic um he's pale and pasty but he's not gray um but yeah they did a fucking killer job of making him look good right it's just very 90s mcfarlane he can stand (laughs) a certain way and that's about it I'm looking at the pose now, knowing that you can't change his legs. It's kind of funny. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I will say but this, yeah, though, so these... the gold oh, label, go I'm assuming, is what you're Yeah, let's about. talk about the gold. Yeah, um, yeah. So, yeah, the, the Earth-52 Batman is essentially, if you didn't read Dark Knight's Metal, it's the evil Bruce Wayne Flash after Barry Allen takes his body back over. Um, so that's why he's he's gold instead of red. So it's not like... It's not like they're just like, oh, it's gold label. We need to paint it gold. Speaking of just <laughs> painting things gold because it's gold label, Spawn, on the other hand, literally is gold in like his accent colors just for the sake of being gold. It's, but it, it does look kind of cool, though. I know it, there's no like canonized reason of why he's gold other than the fact that it's gold label but i'd even forgive it if cool. this was like a mortal kombat 11 skin like if there was just a, yeah. a like, legit <laughs> thing i'd forgive it but this is literally yeah. just uh hey guys we're doing this gold label and i really like my spawn character can can we uh, maybe uh get him in the line somehow They're like yeah yeah any part of him that's not black we'll make that bitch gold <laughs> except for the chains that should have been gold right i feel like that was just a missed opportunity but i i think it looks cool like i i don't know it's just to see the black and gold is, is kind of neat for yeah, I those mean, toy collectors who are also new orleans saints fans <laughs> you got a perfect figure for you like that's just perfect but no nah, it's i think it's cool i i think but i get it <laughs> i think my biggest problem is the fact that they made his like v like paint or whatever it is on his suit gold instead of just leaving that white like it'd be different. Yeah, like, all the, have, like the gold accessories. Yeah, if it would have been all yeah. the red parts were now gold, oh, I'd be like, okay. okay, it's just it's literally like if you're playing a fighting game and you click the left trigger or whatever to switch their color scheme. Right. Okay, but like the the what was the point in painting that gold? I don't know. It just gold label, bro. Gold label. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the forty k. You can't do gold label and not have spawn. That's just you know. I I mean you kind of can. <laughs> <laughs> or at that point, they really like just dipping things in one color, like the stupid bronze yeah. uh, Arkham Asylum figures. See? So they could have just made a solid gold spawn. That's pushing it too far. Yeah, that's 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 the line we don't I'm... cross with spawn. <laughs> Batman is I'm also okay. Not... Yeah, but not... <laughs> it's fun. I'm, I'm also not going to comment on the uh, Warhammer at all. I'm just going to say, cool. <laughs> We got called out last time for talking about Warhammer, so yeah. it's okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I I think it looks cool. No, I agree. I, I, I still cool. just don't. I, I, I don't have the context. Is this yeah. is this character always gold? I don't know. Maybe. I don't, well, Maybe I mean, stop showing. I mean, I'm technically, these characters are whatever color the fuck you want them because you paint them. That is true. So, is this really a gold label collection? Like, I mean, it is. If if Todd's the one who's painting his forty k <laughs> figures. So these are his forty k. He's like, so, cool. so this is this is the the spawn team, and this is this is this is the 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 gold label team, and they're all just painted gold. <laughs> uh, good, good I can't time. wait till the platinum label. Oh, oh my god! No, they're gonna have, they have a crimson label, and it's gonna be exclusive to the target. <laughs> it spawns is gonna be painted crimson, <laughs> so it's just a regular spawn figure. <laughs> <laughs> No, the white V will be painted right too. That's that's good. So you guarantee it. It's gonna be the that's variation true. just enough that you, it's gonna be different. You need it. Right. Oh god. Um, and speaking of variants, like this is the perfect segue because Mezco loves their variants. Uh, Mezco took one twelve day, which is because you know one twelfth scale and January twelfth, uh, and and they actually made it better than they did last year uh, by actually putting up an in stock item. Of the Supreme Knight Darkest Days Batman. Another variation to the Supreme Knight that we've already gotten three of so far. And he's, he's pretty awesome. Last year, though, they put up pre-orders for the 1989 Michael Keaton Batman, which still haven't shipped. So it's an improvement, but then there's a lot of people bitching that it's another Batman. 
So you kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't. But Darkest Days Batman comes with five swappable heads, interchangeable hands, three magnetic bat symbols, two capes, one wired and one knot, two sets of batarangs, including batarang bundles that he can hold in his hands, two large batarangs, a foldable dual bat blade, an equalizer cannon, a grappling hook with three hook attachments, a smoke effect, and posable stand and with a oh, arm with stand. Uh, he is he well not is he was ninety five dollars on Mezco's website, but he sold out pretty quickly. So sure. people who were complaining, oh another Batman, are now complaining, oh I didn't get it. So. <laughs> there's really no winning uh with the mezco crowd unfortunately luckily they're they're more civil than a lot of other groups where they're like fuck you you got the thing i want um die i i'm excited as hell for it because it is well it's a variant of the same batman we've already gotten three of last year yeah um it's it's different enough instead of it just being like a, a, a color swap for the gloves and, and mask and stuff it actually the vinyl that's over top his like chest and arms that's kind of got got those like dark latches and stuff and looks more like pop, it pops more the normal yeah. one's all gray you don't get any of that so oh. they actually put an effort to make it look like there's like clasps and stuff and he's actually got armor on right um so i i i made sure to get one i fought with their website for about 15 <laughs> minutes because it kept telling me that my PayPal payment failed. I'm like, bitch, I got money. Fucking take it. Uh, <laughs> I don't anymore now. Yeah, but I did. <laughs> um, and, and also, I, I love the magnetic swappable uh, chest emblems. That's pretty cool. Because the two normal releases they did, where it's literally this, basically the same suit, just with different colors of black or blue, uh, mm-hmm. they ha- theirs are glued on in actual of peg holes uh, and one's the big like dark knight returns bat and the other one's like a oval that was gold with like a bat symbol in it um and then they did the stealth stealth or no shadow edition of it which was all black but still had those interchangeable chess pieces and i was like oh this is so cool if only i could have gotten it gray though and and they're like here you go and i'm like you go. sweet <laughs> you had to buy it at that point oh yeah you say I- it, it definitely is badass, and, like, the Mezco Batman figures always are kind of like, ooh. Um, but for me, I'm always so hot or cold with, with Mezco. Like, I know I've mentioned this before, <laughs> and I don't, you know, awesome. It looks awesome, and I'm, I'm happy you have something that you look cool. But it just always, I don't know, I, I get the, the Ken doll effect out of it. and I, It's just so weird to me. I don't know why I have that issue with these, because they're, like, so amazing. And I know it's going to be one of those days when they make... Uh, a Ninja Turtle toys, and I'm have to like eat crow and buy oh, yeah. them, but it's just so weird. So, <laughs> so speaking of, of Ninja what? Turtles, I'm gonna. I don't have this in the show sheet because I literally, oh. while I was waiting for you to come back down, because you hopped in the chat and disappeared. Um, Did you get telling my business? No, I'm <laughs> I uh, I was just scrolling through Instagram, and and someone posted that like Mezco responded to someone's comment on something. And now people are thinking that Mezco is going to be doing Toon Turtles. And I'm like, no, we don't need more Toon Turtles. Not Toon. I mean, if they, okay, this is just hijacking the topic to talk about Ninja Turtles. Like I always do. Um, But if Mezco was making it, I would want it to be the movie Turtles. Like, but not the, the first movie, the second movie. Wait, no, the third movie that no one likes to admit. Just be, wait, no. The second movie. What's the one that Playmates the, had? Secret of the Ooze As- or, or of- fucking Turtles in Time. They're literally dramatically different. <laughs> yes, you're, you're really fair. <laughs> but what, basically what I'm trying to get at is I want the realistic, like, m- skin, like the vinyl-y skin. Mm. Yes, if, I, if I'm going to get this here and they're doing, like, the way the joints and stuff are underneath, like, the, the skin, if you will, that's what I kind of want to get from it. Like, I want to get, like, so that want, one of those movie seamless accurate. bodies. Yeah, similar to this. Like, remember Playmates movie turtles that had like the weird uh, splotches? They had polio, and they had like the yeah, those ones. That's what I'm kind of like envisioning from like Mezco. I don't think it's gonna look gorgeous, but it'll be just like my uh, my tour tour turtles, just because it just looks ridiculous enough that's something different. 
I mean, that's I, that's my piece. I, I guess to each his own. I personally wanted the IDW comic book versions, um, and I yeah. definitely don't want seamless bodies. Those, oh no. But so we're getting Mirage from that, or we're gonna get Mirage Turtles. I didn't oh, wait, say no, Mirage. you're saying IDW, IDW okay. the, the current you, version of the Turtles. Yes, though, like, yes, yes, yes. Um, the ones that I, okay, I well, haphazardly that try to turn every other turtle figure into. Um, yeah. So I, that's, okay, that that's, what, that's what I wanted. But I wanted to go ridiculous. My my biggest concern with this is if they're doing Toon Turtles, it's not going to be the 112 Collective line. It's going to be the Mezzets line or the oh. creepy Living Dead Dolls line. I don't I didn't know they had different lines. I'm you yeah. Know, out so of that so they world. have the Mezzets, which are like the you probably saw them back in the day when Toys R Us was still a thing. They looked mm-hmm. like little keychains when they had like big ass heads oh, and little arms. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Like, um, so there's a chance because they do like well, bigger versions of those. So it'd be kind of uh-huh. cool because it's like, oh, you're getting you know something that's different for your yeah. shelf, which for you would be great because you you that's what you want is you want different versions of turtle figures to put up that don't all look right. the same uh or the living dead dolls are literally like baby dolls usually made oh, of horror God. movie things um but it w- i guess it would turn into a horror movie if they made turtles out of those um <laughs> i hope not i have that would be a really that would be a bummer uh, so fingers crossed that this was just ha- like happenstance that they responded to someone's comment that was a gif uh, of the animated show. It was just them responding oh, to it. They just probably searched turtle gif though. Well, no, I'm saying so the person posted a gif of the oh. cartoon turtles and Mezco responded to it. And Mezco doesn't really respond to comments very often. So oh, people no. are like, oh my God, that's, that's it. Um, mm-hmm. So I'm hoping that maybe it was more so just, oh, it's Ninja Turtles in general, so we're going to acknowledge it. Not so much yeah. that it's the Toon Turtles. Cause I, can't, I also can't imagine another company with how hot Doing... NECA is with the Toon Turtles right. being like, that's the market I want to fucking jump into. Like, exactly. You're not going to be able to compete with that. They're so deep in that line. No one's going to pay $80 per figure unless you fucking knock it out of the park. Like, right. it's... That's why I want crazy. Just give me some weird... Oh no! What, what okay, no. fucked up shit did you just come up with in your head? <laughs> Give me the like um, live action t- TV series. Oh god, with, like, no, no. <laughs> Venus, the mutation. No, oh, Give no. me next mutation. Oh my no. god. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> Stop if you it. want my money, give me that. Give me that. Nick is gonna already just... eventually do that as some con exclusive and disappoint people like me who are like, no, that's not what I want. I don't know what next I want, mutation. but it's not that. <laughs> Dude, next mutation, I'm telling you, with the weird head wraps. Oh my god. Oh yeah, with their, their even... fucking like mask do rag thing combinations, yes. which made no yes. fucking sense. Cause it's like, why did you just rip off some pantyhose that were different colors and put them on your head? And they have like pants. Oh, that's it. That's what it is. If it's not that, dude, disappointment city over here. Uh, I, I hope that they disappoint the fuck out of you. <laughs> <laughs> and that was me hijacking. Uh, Mesco's that's, that's, I, that, I mean, it's on me. I'm the one who who brought it up because I was just like, well, Entertain me. this was something that that happened, so why not? Uh, no, I know. <laughs> moving on though, before we spend too much of the show that's already going to be spent on turtles, because there's quite a bit to talk about in general. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hasbro put up pre-orders for the new Marvel Legends Green She-Hulk figure. She is available on Big Bad Toy Store for twenty four ninety nine and ships in July. Uh, from the looks of it, it's pretty much the gray She-Hawk that they did, I think, last year or the year before. Just now green. Oh. And I think she comes with an alternate yeah. head, because I don't think the first one came with that. So you get the crazy-eyed, like, hair all over the place head, and you get, like, a normal, like, yo, I'm just I'm just a big green lady. Yeah. Is this inappropriate to just say hot? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I... <laughs> it's, it's cool. I, I mean, I mean... I like She-Hulk. I don't know. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to say this. Uh, when the gray one came out, I literally watched a couple of reviews. There was like, damn, she's fucking smoking hot. And I'm just like, <laughs> that's not the descriptor you expect to hear about a toy. At least not unless you're like in one of those like weird like well, anime like girl with the big boobs oh, like things. Those the I'd expect that to be imports. discussed, but yeah. but not, not fucking She-Hulk. But hey, I. I yeah. mean, I guess that's that's more Inches of... Inches on, man. I feel like that's more of a, a compliment to the sculptors the over yeah. at, at Hasbro who were able to make her look good. 
<laughs> no, I mean, I, okay. I like I like She-Hawk in general, and not in like that, you know, kind of weird way. Not so in the I'm cool. gonna tell my wife to paint herself green <laughs> <laughs> kind of way. Ripped leggings and all. <laughs> Uh, okay, we, we can't end She-Hawk on that. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to say, I, I, the, my favorite part of this entire figure is the crazy head, the eyes. Like, the fact that her, eye, yeah. her eyes are black and they've got those green, like, purple, or green pur- pupils, apparently. I can't talk tonight. Um, it just, they really pop and look cool. And I feel like if something happens and I see this in store and I'm just like, fuck it, I'll get it, that's, that's the head mm-hmm. I'm going to use. Like, as cool as it is to get, like, a normal, like, yeah. not angry head... I feel like with her clothes all ripped up, you have to have the crazy. It eyes. makes sense. Yeah, yeah, it really does make sense. I mean, I, all jokes aside, it, it is a, a really detailed and great looking figure. Like, and I mean, I, I'm kind of a fan of already like a lot of the this line. Mm-hmm. I just don't want to go down like that. that oh yeah, that rabbit hole is so deep it's always that you'll be something that I'm gonna want. You'll be divorced, paying alimony, child support, and still trying to afford. I'll only religions. have this. Yeah, like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you'll be you'll be living in a, a one well not even a one bedroom apartment like a studio apartment just studio. filled with Marvel Legends writing checks <laughs> out to your ex wife uh, for child support, um, having to buy extras oh, yeah. to sell so you can afford the child support. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that could be something I get into. But no, not the, the <laughs> not, not, not the, the, the one. <laughs> next section. Next section. <laughs> Speaking of money pits and divorce, NECA uh, (laughs) showed off new Predator 2 7-inch Ultimate Guardian uh, figures in packaging. He is available on Big Bad Toy Store for $35.99 and ships later this month. So, like, I remember talking about this figure and, like, the accessories and stuff were really fucking cool on it. But this box looks cool. Like, I love the... Yeah. They're going, like, more and more with, like, an artwork, like, comic book-esque looking thing instead of going with the, like, movie artwork. Um, Yeah. I could be dead wrong, but that's what it looks like to me. Uh, If I am, let me know in the comments below because I have no problem if you tell me I'm wrong as long as I actually am. Which he's never. (laughs) (laughs) But, yeah, I do do like what you're you're saying because... The one thing I found, like, NECA is just a, a beast. And I don't know if I've just never noticed it in this, like, the ultimate line. Like, the box art is just, like, amazing. Like, oh, yeah. You know, foreshadowing to something that I received today or a few days ago. It's just the box art. So awesome. Like, I, I'm trying to think of a way now to display these. And if you have, like, these different types of artwork on each one, that would be pretty cool. Because I like this as opposed to just strictly sticking to, like, the movie. If that's yeah. what you're trying to get at as yeah, well. Yeah, it's very like, it much like more of artwork a, than like artist. Poster. Yeah, redemption of it. Yeah, so I, I agree with you. But these I, are, as always, they're just they're so badass. Like, mm-hmm. if you're a Predator fan, you got to be in like heaven with these. Oh yeah, and, and I feel like these are cool enough that you could literally put them in the back of your shelf with a figure in front of it and have that. As oh a backdrop, yeah, which would look really cool too. Do they are all the boxes always the same size? I know that's kind of a um, weird question to ask. Ninety percent of the these. time, yes. Uh, they do have some predators that are bigger, so those boxes mm. are bigger. Kind of like it's kind of like um, metalhead to Krang. Like as long as yeah. the figure is the same size, the box usually is the same size. But that's if you fair. get to a point where like it, like the Alpha Predator, for instance, he was like a solid inch taller than the rest of them, if not like two inches. So his box was pretty like probably about a little bit bigger. That's all. That's the only thing that's a little bit of a bummer mm-hmm. is when they're like different sizes. Because if you're doing like you said behind you, like the figure on the shelf, or yeah. even just cat, like laid out that way, it, it kind of sucks. But I'm sure there's as long as you're not someone who's like, I need to have them in the order they came out, or in a yeah, certain you order, can you can finagle that to where you're like all the same sized ones, and then the few big ones maybe like scattered throughout it, kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that's really cool. I'm excited to to see that in person on Target shelves. At some point as well, because I'm sure it will. Uh, It'll be there. Moving on to your favorite toy company, Playmates oh, yeah. announced two newish sets of TMNT figures. The first being a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles retro Rotocast sewer layer figure set. Not as cool as it sounds, kids. It's, you're not getting a sewer play set. Um, <laughs> The set includes the re-re-re-re-releases of the original 
TMNT Turtles, Splinter, and Shredder. Followed by the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Retro Rotocast Villains Mutant Module figure set. And this one will include Bebop, Rocksteady, Baxter Stockman, Slash, Krang, and Foot Soldier. The sewer layer will set you back $89.99 and ships in May of 2021. And the Mutant Module set will run $100 shipping in September of 2021. Expect pre-orders to be going up here soon. So... I give Playmates credit for at least having a like really cool packaging when they're mm-hmm. doing this. Like these, like first they did the party wagon, then they did the Mirage party wagon, and now they're doing like the, the mutant module, like tank drill thing. Yeah, um, the sewer set I feel like is misleading because I see that and I it, and my head instantly goes, <laughs> "Oh, cool! It's it's a sewer layer play set. That's awesome!" And then you realize, no, it's just repackages of the same figures that you've gotten eight times yeah my I, i'm kind of right there with you i i wasn't gonna be like super negative towards the play man because i think it's something that i have to like come to terms with that there's always like new turtle collectors and mm-hmm. new people that are like oh man i really love ninja turtles when i was a kid and oh i remember these figures and i want to get these um so that's that's always a plus for people out there for me like i already have these toys and like different renditions like you said multiple times and part of my fault for buying multiple times encouraging playmates but the one thing that like i was sort of encouraged by was like oh this is the box art is amazing Mm -hmm. again the it's just cool and it even looks like the drill thingy was like one of the sets like that i had as well so it's just kind of cool like that that nostalgia factor the price really, really rubbed that's, me the wrong that's way. That's my biggest problem with it. Like, because the, the, the other one, one, the party wagon was what, like fifty bucks. So the first party wagon was, it? was I believe, uh, like eighty or a hundred. Because that one was a con exclusive. Okay, yeah. Which, the second one, which the Mirage one, was fifty bucks. Okay, that's the one I was thinking of. Like, how does it go from fifty to a hundred and like eighty nine dollars? It just seems. This is where I feel attacked because it's like they're aiming this towards me mm-hmm. as like the nostalgia collector, right? The person with the massive turtle collection. This for a hundred dollars just doesn't seem like something that you know, a random guy who's in his thirties now and's like, oh man, I like Ninja Turtles and I kid and sees this, he's not gonna just jump on it for a hundred dollars. You know yeah. what I mean? So I don't. I, I'm always so conflicted with playmates that it's. It makes me feel like I'm being negative, but at the same time, am I just being, like, aware of their games? I don't know. I really don't know. Like, the part that upsets me most is, so, the the $50 set exploded. It sold out, like, instantly. So, like, sweet. People want these. Yeah. Let's let's make a little extra money. Because you can't even use the argument that you would with, oh, you're getting five figures. These aren't $20 figures. Yeah. These aren't, these aren't, you're going and buying five, or, yeah, five McFarland figures. This is... Right figures that were like maybe seven dollars back in the 80s when you buy them right. like this isn't even if you count for inflation you know what i mean yeah it's, you're still at $10. like maybe like eleven dollars at that point right. so the fact that they're trying to get a hundred dollars because they made a fancy box like at right. least i'll give them credit the the villain set the the mutant module one. it's cool that the, the box is a lot cooler because it's actually got like the slant in the front so you could even like even if you're getting this for your kid so they can like enjoy them like you did as a kid right. then they can at least pretend that's the vehicle right and right, at right. least those characters for the most part haven't been re-released six times but the, the sewer layer set we've had those same turtles released so many times at this point there's no reason for that set to be 90 bucks it's yeah it, and then you you bring up the fact of like giving it like having the, your like your kid have like that moment that you had mm-hmm. and i would like love to like have that but at the same time it's it just i don't know it just feels dirty to me and i know it's a business that's their their job is to make money and I, i'm not gonna hate on them for that but mm-hmm. I've said my piece a thousand times. If they want to continue to make money, make something new. Like, give me more than just saying, like, this This poor, like, moating machine and press or whatever oh, has yeah. to be so worn out the at this point. The wheels have to be coming off that bitch at this point. <laughs> it's just like anything. Let me make anything else but these same fucking toys. Um, but, yeah, it just... 
I'm so happy for people who are like buying this as like their first mm-hmm. like te- set of Ninja Turtles because it's great to have people in there. Just don't buy NECA toys, okay? We don't need more <laughs> NECA fans. <laughs> Stick to your Playmates re-releases. Leave us alone. <laughs> we don't need more NECA fans. But I'm I genuinely excited for people to have something new. But at the same time, it just in the back of my mind, it's just like same old Playmates in my mind. That's just how I yeah. see it. So. I would I would it's even bad. commend them if they simply did like they did the first time they re-released these like do the same packaging, do like the same accessories, make it go so it all looks the way like it did yeah yeah go all the way in just like it was back in the eighties, but sell them individually carded at Target at Walmart yeah well that's what they just did like just like they're doing yeah. with the the He Man series like you would you do, do that again release the other figures i would even be happy with that because they started with some of the other like alternate lines Mm -hmm. if they would just go down the line with some of those i would be all on board on buying those again on card Mm -hmm. because i pretty much have all of those already loose but like give me like the other lines of you know the sports figures or god darn it just give me the universal monsters on card that would be so cool i understand it's logistics and it's hard to do Mm -hmm. but just do that that's what i'm saying don't keep giving me these same turtles over and over and it's not for me i understand it. it's not for me i already have it sorry i hit my mic (laughs) could you imagine though the uproar if they re-released the trench coat turtles oh god on card (laughs) well because aren't those ones worth like stupid amounts of money they're still they're still really there is i mean they're practically impossible to find so that's probably why they're still up there. But uh, yeah, I could understand like the 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 anger. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it's like you know these are just a re-release. These aren't like the real deal. Yeah. But like, I get you. I mean, I get it. But God, that would be awesome because I don't have those. So yeah, I, <laughs> I my, my be, thing would I'd just be, be like if if it. If, I just want them on card. If you kept them on card, it'd be very clear that they're not the original because they'd have the Nickelodeon logo exactly. on it. Exactly. Because Nickelodeon yeah. is like anything turtles. We have to have our logo on it. Right. Um. So like I even like even if you take them out of the package, I feel like they'd look so new and crisp that like yeah. you, you'd be able to spot them in a lineup that that's clearly not the original. That's fair. And I mean, do you think Playmate cares? Yeah, they don't give a shit about the third party market because, I mean, I guess in theory they kind of do because them doing these sets, the, like a lot of people are buying them to resell them because they aren't like being mass produced to the point where you can pick them yeah. up on the shelf. Um, yeah. And they're selling out like day one pre orders and shit. So I guess th- theoretically the third party market is kind of driving this these the, these the, re releases. Um, yeah. But even then, like Walmart restocked and like had online orders for the last set of of turtles, the the Mirage one. So, who's to say that that's not gonna be the case here? And then there's gonna be a bunch of scalpers who get stuck with a bunch of old Which old ass right. release figures. <laughs> Just well, I'll, I'll end it on this: if they are listening, which they're they are, because you know. Oh yeah, we're we're, we're huge. We've of been blowing up. The playmate reps, I if you want to turn my opinion around on your company and your practices, please just give me. I even have the list somewhere over here of all the figures that have come out. Just I'll give you the paper if you guys forgot which figures that you did outside of the same the same wave. Just give me those waves on cards and boxes like this, and you guaranteed my money every single time, every single time. You do anything. The wacky Toon Turtles, do that. You got my money. Hundred bucks. Oh yeah, no with, like the pushback and Leo's eyes pop yes. out and shit. And like Just Mikey's give me that tongue stuff, was man. like a weird fruit by the foot. Yes, um, that's what I mean. Like they had so many creative things that I fell in love with as a kid and as a, like a collector. You have you guys are so much better than that. That's why I get angry. Is because this you guys are better than just boxing up the same turtles and keep selling them for a hundred dollars. That's all. I could Maybe get, I may change the world. I, I could get into my fan theory that they've actually the only molds that they have left are the old like original eighties ones. They've they've <laughs> that's what th- I'm thinking. They like, threw away all the other ones. Are like, well, fuck. <laughs> well, what are we gonna do now, guys? We don't want to spend money on this, so let's just keep keep doing keep them in just them. slightly different shades. <laughs> keep running them. <laughs> yeah, it's sad, uh, but that would be amazing. I can only dream. Can yeah, only dream. that's. that's <laughs> 
Playmates, that's really all you can do. But moving on, <laughs> Quantum Mechanics announced three new Disney property properties that are getting QFIX. Jamar recently showed off that he has started getting into QFIX because someone bought him a Donatello. Uh, uh, you know I had to have it right next to me. <laughs> uh, and and uh, that's that's impressive that you just happen to have that. Who, who, I'm just trying to step up my game, man. Yeah, who would have known calling you out uh, because <laughs> Nate was so on top of it was his shirt choice uh, would really... <laughs> It's always on my desk. It's the perfect desk. Oh, so you weren't prepared. I got it. Um, (laughs) But we are getting the 1991 cult classic Rocketeer. Then we are getting the terror that flaps in the night, Darkwing Duck. And last up is from Gargoyles. We are getting Goliath and Demona. So pre-orders are already up for all four of these on Big Bad Toy Store. Rocketeer is $29.99. Darkwing and the Gargoyles are $19.99 each. And all ship second quarter of 2021. And all I can say is, Jamara, let's get fucking dangerous. Like, I'm I'm super <laughs> excited about, about Darkwing Duck. Like, yes, I, I've still is... been hunting down the stupid Funko action figure they did like five years ago. <laughs> so they did like an actual like f- like four yeah, or five I'm... inch like action figure, not a pop, and mm-hmm. nobody got them in. They all got fucking launch pad McQuack, but they didn't get Darkwing. Um, and I I've been watching one on e- eBay for basically four or five years now, and I uh-huh. for whatever reason I haven't pulled the trigger. But I, I either way I want this just because it looks cool. Like he's on that gargoyle awesome. that's in the yeah. shape of a duck head. Like oh, man. <laughs> I mean I. I, I don't know. I, I I'm I'm confused. Like, it, I don't have my my finger on the pulse like you do, Mike. In the toy industry, the toy social media, all of that stuff. You are in the streets. You are listening to the people. So, how is Q Figs not bigger than Pops? Because their art and like character design and everything is so good. And I hate using that term so because it, it doesn't quantify <laughs> anything. But it is so fucking amazing their artwork so i i just is it is it just me am i just out of the loop um so i think the biggest thing is size and cost so funko pops generally unless you get them from like a retail their up charges such as like hot topic or gamestop around 10 bucks they're Mm -hmm. also relatively tiny if you keep them in the box super easy to stack on shelves if you take them out of the box they're even smaller and easier to compact onto a shelf these mm-hmm. are like statues of borderline full dioramas built around them. So yes. getting a bunch of those on your shelf, kind of hard to do. And also with them being 20 bucks to 30 bucks, oh it's a little more costly. So they definitely have a crowd that loves them. I mean, obviously mm-hmm. since they keep making them, but yeah. that that's generally why like Funko Pops is successful. It's something that people who may not collect all this other shit or like I like these characters, but I just don't have the space or the money to invest in to all of that. And then they spend That's three fair. times as much money as the rest of us because they buy eight different versions all of the them. same fucking character. <laughs> um, or in Batman's case, eighty different versions of the same character uh, in in Funko Pop form because Funko Pops are literally probably one of the biggest drugs in America right now. Let's be. Oh honest. yeah, I'm I'm um, debating on like checking my younger sister in the. To Funko rehab, <laughs> she's it's just insane, and that's coming from a person with a room full of Ninja Turtle stuff. But yeah. I, yeah, I just always, I ever since the first time I've seen these Q figs, I've always been always wanting one, mm-hmm. and like you know, like coworker gave me one through uh, a Secret Santa, and now I'm like, well, this is the excuse I needed to to go down this. this he was your, he was your gateway drug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it gave me my hit, and now I'm addicted. But like these are these are absolutely amazing oh, yeah. and i even like the rocketeer one and i'm like i don't even know right i was like know. jake that's Sorry, jake's jake. thing why the hell we want that but it looks fucking cool but it, it, uh, yeah it looks so cool but yeah these are these are really awesome yeah i i am excited i i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna get goliath too just because i love gargoyles oh, yeah. and there's not yeah. enough representation of the of that show so like i have to get that i have to get Darkwing. um I I'll, if I really want to see Rocketeer, I'll just go visit Jake uh, to just see it on his shelf because he, he's like, literally while I was writing the show sheet and like looking things up, he texts me and he's like, "Oh my god, you see this?" And I'm like, "Yeah, literally five seconds ago because I was just <laughs> typing it into my notes." Um, That's funny. 
<laughs> but yeah, so they're really cool. I've owned a couple. Uh, there was like a one that I got in a loot crate that was Batman, and it actually came with like a little like stand that stuck out, it had like a, a bubble that you could write something in. Um, hmm, that's cool. So it turned into me and my my roommate racing and writing dirty things uh, on it on, while it was on the shelf in the living room at the time. Uh, yeah. And there was another one I owned, but I can't remember what it was. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're really cool. I, 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 I've seen the Ninja Turtle ones before, mm. and I was like, oh, I really want them. I'm like, no, no, yeah. <laughs> I do not need these. I do have it's nowhere to the, put them. Like you said, the mini diorama with the the figure slash statue. It's yeah, it is so cool, and the detail. It's so much detail on entities. They're awesome. <clears throat> it's the. Uh, joy of getting like a statue because that's what the, like most statues do is they have like a tiny diorama yeah, yeah. piece with that pose on it and stuff it's like getting that but in a affordable form that's yeah, small enough that you can fit it on your desk and it still looks really really good so it's it's kind of like all pluses and not very many negatives except for like yeah. do i really need to start this line too <laughs> <laughs> i'm happy to see them on the show though that's cool yeah i i i saw these and i was like one, I can't pass it up because of Darkwing Duck, and two, now that Jamar isn't on it, I have to, I have to enable him even more. Yes. Um, <laughs> oh man. Uh, but moving on, before Jamar ends up divorced in a studio apartment with a bunch of Q figs, uh, Q Boss Fight that. Studios put up more stock of their one eighteenth scale Flash ah uh, action figure and lunchbox set. <laughs> He is still oh, available God. and is forty five dollars on Boss Fight Studios website. So we talked about this way back when it was announced. I never actually saw this with the packaging and stuff until today. Uh, I I I didn't know they actually start shipping yet. So it's kind of cool to see the final figure and also see the fact that they put it in a lunchbox, which is just cool yeah. in itself. Like it's it's kind of like perfect for like these. I want to say like. 80s era like figure ish mm-hmm. things like to put that on like a lunchbox that's such a cool idea and like that's awesome like collectible that's right awesome. like i feel like that's perfect for that generation of, of collector because yeah. if you're getting this chances are you grew up in, within that era and you loved it it wasn't something you discovered yeah. when you were like 20 so right like the that's lunchbox cool. thing was brilliant on their part so yeah, but 100%. i just I love that it has like different artwork on both sides instead of it being the same thing. That was like really cool as well. Yeah, I mean, all of I'm sure you have the same uh, connection to Flash Gordon. Is, would would it have been from watching Ted? Is that where you were like, oh, hey, no, didn't get that reference? No. Did you not watch Ted? No. Oh, oh okay. All right. Well, <laughs> Thunder Buddy, you didn't. Really? Oh, Ted the movie. Sorry, I was, yeah. I was, I, I thought it was thinking of some show that you were talking about. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I, Ted I, I, the, the teddy bear. But yeah, okay. Yes, yeah, yes, Ted. yes. Yeah, but yeah, that's the the only reference I have. And is it Queen that sings the song? Maybe. Or no, maybe it might be Journey. I don't know. All right, we're 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 yeah, in we're going to territory that we're not. We don't want to get into. Let's know in below <laughs> or below in the comments who sings yeah. the Flash Gordon song. Um, I think it's but i could be wrong but i mean it probably is uh, i feel like i watched the the bohemian rhapsody like movie yeah and I, I think that that was something that they talked about but i can't remember um but no my i like, I, I know of flash gordon just because it's been referenced in so many different ways um yeah. i and like my favorite is the fact that they actually reference it in the cw flash show like there's a point where oh, cisco uh, literally makes that joke um so then every time uh, I'd, I'd go to watch it. I'd be like, "It's time to watch Flash." Ah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my god! But yeah, yeah. so really good. cool. That's another thing that just makes me like smile as like a collector because I know someone's gonna come across that and be like, "Oh my god, this is the greatest thing!" Oh yeah, someone's gonna get that as their mail call and just be fucking happy as can be, and and that's what collecting should be. That's all it's about. And but moving on from the happy feelings uh, i guess this isn't really like gonna change the happy feelings um beast kingdom announced a new wonder woman 84 golden armor figure from their action heroes line she will include two head sculpts two swappable face plates at least i think that's their plates and not like 
chunks. I don't know. Uh, four alternate hands, the lasso of truth, and a figure stand. She is available in Big Bad Toy Store for one hundred nine ninety nine and ships in September. I think this looks cool as hell. The only thing that I, I, I it throws me off is I can't tell if the face is just super well like realistic and looks out of place, or if it hasn't been sculpted so they just pasted her face yeah. on it yeah um, like, okay. like it feels like a deep it. fake like looking at it i'm just like did yes. they just face swap gal Gadot like onto this figure i got you i mean it is it's kind of almost like i guess it's called the Un- uncanny valley because you know it's not actually her mm-hmm. but it looks so much like her that it's a little weird and off-putting but yeah it looks it looks cool yeah i, mean, I random fact i still haven't watched the movie yet uh, maybe the gold outfit's pretty cool and you know you're into that so <laughs> you're into that uh I, yeah yeah I, I i mean i've seen other lines like mezco and mcfarlane do wonder woman and like the face you could like oh man that's definitely gal Gadot, like 100 percent. but this this literally looks like it's like a flat face and they they printed it on there like it's kind of creepy looking uh yeah. but the costume overall really well done i think it's it looks like it somewhat soft goods because i don't really see like seams for the joints um yeah, you can tell yeah it's definitely like soft it's like mm-hmm. the mezco effect at, at least on for like the under armor stuff like the, the, the chest yeah, pieces yeah, obviously yeah. are gonna be like plastic uh the, the the gold armor it's it's cool in the movie but i think the biggest thing is just the fact that like what it represents from back in the comics and stuff like the right. times that she's worn this so i feel like that might be the bigger selling point be just because everyone loves this version of wonder woman despite the the hit or miss nature of wonder woman 84 uh so i i I, i'm i'm happy that it's an eight inch scale instead of being 112 uh six inch scale like everything else i collect so i'm like i've got an l (laughs) (laughs) i mean it makes sense to the scaling though because i feel like something like this is more of like a a piece yeah you know what i mean this is you know yeah, it's, it was, it's not something you're gonna be like let me pose it fighting batman or something right 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 well it's it's pretty cool yeah it, it looks like it. it looks really cool um i if, if you're into it like i said it's available pre-order it now on bigbadtoystore.com 109.99 and uh let us know how it turns out because I'm, I'm genuinely curious what this looks like in hand but i don't know if i'm gonna spend 110 bucks to find out yeah Mike will personally come visit you when the vaccines are everywhere to come see your Wonder Woman. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I won't. Play tickets are expensive, and I don't like road trips, so I'm, that's an easy pass for me. Um, rounding out the news, though, probably my oh, most excited, yeah. exciting news of the fucking week. Metacom teased us with the next Mofex figure from the boys, and it's Billy motherfucking Butcher. And sweet baby Jesus, he comes with the laser eyes baby as an accessory. No pre-orders or anything yet, obviously, since it's just a teaser, but I'm sure we'll get a full reveal soon. I saw this picture, and my first thing I noticed was, like, is, is, is that is that the baby that he, like, grabs it and he starts laser eyeing people with it? Like, is that really the accessory we're getting? Like, we joked about Homelander getting the, 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 the milk. Um <laughs> <laughs> but the fact that we're getting this just makes me be like, oh yeah, we're hundred percent getting the the milk for for Homelander. Um, I I was I was on Team Mecca after last week. Yeah. But fuck if Mofex didn't just steal me back. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't know the accessories for Billy. We, we're assuming they have announced Billy get- yet. <laughs> Yeah, we're just assuming that that's gonna happen. But at this point, could they just straight up copy it? Would that be okay? Probably not. <laughs> I mean, I mean, theoretically, yeah, they could. They could be like, hey, you know what? We come up with that fucking baby too, and we're only thirty bucks. Yeah, <laughs> but mean, this is honestly like I always mention on the show about like things that I like the most about figures is just like the weirdness to them. Like this is twenty twenty one. Collecting toys for a long time. Give me some weird stuff. And this being like the uh, accessory to this is one of those things of like, oh, yeah. this is weird because the show is weird. Oh, it's yeah. so it's like zany. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah. So it makes sense to have this. Like, that's that's awesome. Which I kind of am looking forward to other accessories and stuff. Like, now I want to know. Oh, yeah. Can they top it? Because I feel like each character has something that they could have. I'm, I'm calling it right now. 
when they eventually do uh oh, what's his name the 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 aquaman guy um, oh oh no are you oh, I, I can't think of his name but i can't think of his you... name i i am betting a hundred percent that we are going to get the dolphin that he he uh <laughs> <laughs> he has adult relations with as the as the accessory oh, <laughs> that would be that would be spot on that would be spot on yeah. that would be awesome I, I will be absolutely shocked if that at this point if that's not what he comes with the, the fact that we're getting <laughs> laser eye baby and i'll tell you right now i don't care what the fuck else i get billy will be posed with the laser eye baby on my shelf oh, and that's it there will never be another <laughs> like pose for him ever. Um, uh, That's awesome. Yeah, I am super excited for that. And I mean, the good news is NECA has time to win me back because by the time these figures actually release, NECA will have already been on wave like four or five. Uh, right. That's very true. So, that is, uh, very, so I'm, very I'm not like true. overly concerned that Moffex has 100% won me over yet. So we'll have, to, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, that's it for the news. But... For the second week in a row, we get the joy of Turtle Watch 2021. I figured I'd get more excitement from you since you were like, "Oh, I was waiting." Every time you do this, I always like, I don't want to say anything because I know you put like the graphic up, so I don't want to just be like, so, "Ah," and then so so see me. so so a little little peek behind the curtain. Literally, when I do that, I I, I cut. And then stick it in there. That's it. I don't. Oh, I don't okay. trim it down. It's literally just. All right. Just find the spot I want to cut it at. Bam! It sticks it in there, and that and whatever <laughs> happens after happens after. Uh, so all that awkward silence that. stays in. Okay. Perfect. So I, I'll, I'll 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 work on that next time. <laughs> <laughs> Worst part is you've watched the show. <laughs> I know. I just in my mind, I feel like it's much more professional i feel like we have like a tv studio behind us and yeah, all that no, stuff so. none of that and, and and i feel like you're also waiting for the, the the thing to play on your end like you're waiting for it to yeah, pop like, up like we're on a live stream or something anyway so seemingly there were leaked low-res images of chrome dome mondo gecko muckman and Genghis and Rasputin, the frogs two pack, all of all of their accessories shown that has pretty much just been popping up all over the internet. And then we also got official updated glamour shots of the Rat King and Vernon two pack, which usually implies that they'll be popping up soon, along with NECA announcing restocks of the Dragon Grander two pack the Zarax and Zork 2-pack, and the Cytri- uh, sorry, Triceraton Infantryman uh, and Roadkill Rodney 2-pack, which will be hitting stores soon. So, I, I, for one, I feel like this confirms that Mondo Gecko is 100% going to be his own release at this point, and he's going to be an ultimate, so it's going to be like the VHS thing. Um, so that's kind of cool. I did notice that he comes with that weird little turtle, which I can't recall his name. Yeah. It's so, so adorable. First of all, um, man, yeah, I'm, I'm really pumped for this. And the the tech deck, as you would call it, <laughs> looks like it's more than just a little tech deck. It oh looks yeah, like it, it looks like it's actually got like some like cool sculpt to it. Yeah, yeah, it looks, um, it looks more like Crash Bandicoot's like surfboard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Um. I don't even know where to, like to start. Everything just um so I didn't think I was gonna do the Rat King and like uh Vernon two pack. But now I am. Like I have to. <laughs> These like, pictures sold you on it. God, it's so good. And now I kinda want to buy back my April that I get. <laughs> 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 oh That's man. That's unfortunate. Even Derby April looks like so good with this, but no, I mean everything's looking looking fantastic like this year is going to be amazing i wasn't on you know first episode for the you know turtle watch 2020 to begin with but like i am totally 100 percent looking forward to everything and even seeing these glamour shots are just like just solidifying like yes yes give me more and i was initially just like just give me the turtles and i'm out but i it's how could you like how could you just like not oh my god 
<laughs> well, well, hopefully you keep this mindset so we don't run into another Splinter and Bastion oh, yeah. Stockman issue. Not happening again. Um, Not happening again. <laughs> so yeah, it's... which when is the the Roku Rani two pack? Uh, it just says soon. Just says yeah, so time. those are supposed to be hitting stores soon. So I assume sometime this month. Um, mm, okay. My guess is January is going to be a restock month. February will be the so. Vernon and Rat King. And then we'll probably not get anything for a while because at that point, Chinese New Year will have kicked in and, and they probably aren't shipping anything out unless they've already had them shipped out and they're sitting in yeah. NECA's warehouse waiting to ship the Target. Um, which, fingers crossed, because I still want that four-pack. I don't want to wait. I'm an impatient. I'm a child. Yeah. My, yeah. One of my weekly purchases fucking proves that I'm an impatient child. Just just give it to <laughs> me now. Like, oh, I, can't, I, oh, I need it. I need it so bad. Just, 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 yeah, just give me the line already. Like, this is going to be a really long year. It's oh, going to be. Oh, especially for you. Like, I, I'm okay because I've already established I'm, I'm good at this point. I need the, the four pack and then I'm, I'm like, give me the dioramas and the, and the vehicles. I don't need any more characters. I'm set. See, I'm, I'm the opposite of diorama. I, I should probably do that, but I just don't have the space for it. I mm-hmm. realistically and the vehicles. I already got a, a cool old school retro party wagon slash fan. Um, but I just need these figures because of the artwork alone. Mm-hmm. Like the the color and shading on these tune figures are just phenomenal. And oh. I don't it either it's just one of those things that just hit with me, but like I just have to have these. Like I just have to. And it's sickening. It really is sickening. I I can't blame you. Like if if I had more attachment to all of the extra characters. If I could, if I could remember the Ninja Turtles cartoon to the extent that I can remember like the Batman anime, animated series, mm-hmm. I would be right there with you. I'd be like, I need, I need all of them. I give me every two pack, give me everything. Luckily as a kid, as much as I loved Ninja Turtles, the show at that point was just reruns. So I didn't, yeah. I didn't get it like sequentially. So I would just see it here and there so, like, I recognize these characters, but I'm not like, oh, my God, Vernon. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's the reporter dude. Um, <laughs> his I, I, boss, I, I can't remember his name right now. The fat dude. Yeah, the, the fat headed. scumbag guy. Yeah, I remember oh, him. God, I, I'm just thinking, like, are we going to get that character? Oh, well, like, I, yeah, 100%. Yeah. I've, been, I've actually, like, just because, like, I'm like, okay, if we're going to be talking about these more this year since they keep announcing more. I need to be able to remember like like half these people. So yeah, I've been the rewatching the old show like casually, and I'm just like, man, April's boss was a dickhead and a scumbag. <laughs> like I have a feeling that NECA's literally gonna give us a two pack of the scumbag boss and his like hot like girlfriend who's like money yeah. gold digger girlfriend. Like I, I have a feeling that's literally gonna be a two pack or or like a con exclusive like thing. Yeah. I'll take it. Oh god! I'm just. Oh no! I, worse. It's gonna. It's gonna make me hate Loot Crate. Yes, because I'm doing the Loot Crate. This the, time like the, the next Loot Crate will be like you get you I get the know. fat scumbag boss as the main character, and then the extra character you get at the end is is his gold digging girlfriend. Oh my that god! Would make, that would be a perfect Loot Crate. Oh like, no! Thing. Yes. No, yes. I don't. I don't want that. I don't want. I, like, I don't know what I'd want from the two line in in the loot crate at this point. <laughs> but it's not that. Right. <laughs> like, I have ideas for for the Mirage figure for the loot crate. I have uh, ideas for the the Turtles in Time one. No clue what I yeah. want from the animated series because there's literally nothing more that I want from that that isn't no, like vehicles and stuff. Oh, Those God. two characters that can't be like a line release. That can't be in Target. Like Vern and Rat King is already to me like it's a pushing bit it. Yeah, like I can't imagine a world where like head. It kind of could be a little bit more mainstreamy mm-hmm. if, if that's like what I'm trying to get at. And because Rat King is like a a villain, like a, a villain that was more yeah. noticeable. That makes sense because that's almost into that territory of like mm-hmm. what, but like that would be perfect. That'd be perfect. Yeah, my expectations are set now, dude. Yeah, I, I, because I, I, as deep as they're going in this line, I can't imagine that we won't get those at some point. Like, Mutagen, maybe. 
maybe that's the loot crate? Possibly. Because that's well, that seems more like an ultimate. Yeah, that, I feel like that's gonna be more of a regular release. Because it seems like the loot yeah. crate and cons, they're trying to lean more towards doing like weird things that Target wouldn't want. Um, right. Right. Yes. So, which ironically, yeah. though, Target did get the the concert turtles. So, what do I know? Well, they didn't have the choice. I feel like that was a scramble to get that out just because... Yeah, because the con was canceled and all that. Yeah. That's uh, wrong. Right. And they didn't want their site to crash 4,000 times. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm stoked. I cannot wait for every episode to be Turtle Watch 2020. I'm sorry, guys, if you hate Ninja Turtles. But I... Yeah, I, I mean... In in our defense, if you've stuck around since day one, the first third of the episodes of, of, <laughs> were all we Turtle watched, Watch 2020. And I said 2020. I'm not going to be able to say 2021. That's going to be Oh, hard, I, I had to change it. it in the show sheet this week so I wouldn't fuck it up. Because last week I forgot to change it to 2021. Uh, yeah. And I, I pff, day one, messed <laughs> that one up. So go, go me. Uh, but That's since fun. we're done with Turtle Watch 2021, it is time for weekly purchases which I'm excited for my weeks, but I'm going to let you go first. Yeah, I'm going to go first because it's pretty modest. Um, I'm just going to, you know, give a shout out to the the hard workers at you know, United States Place Post Office Services. My name's Jamar. Uh, after the show, I can post you my address. So if you guys need any help, I can, you know, help you get things delivered to my address. With that being said... I did finally get something from NECA. Um, I received a an email, and I was like, oh, cool. They're just letting me know that my Super Shredder is just gone in the wind. It's coming when it comes. And then shortly later, I got a text message saying it was shipped. And then a couple days later, I got him here. And I got this big, beefy boy finally in my hands. And I didn't have to do that ridiculous shipping that was the same cost as a figure. So I won. That's all I'm saying. I won. Did my you, war. Well, yeah, you're right. You did win because I didn't. Because I had to listen to you bitch for six months that your figure <laughs> didn't show up the same time mine did. Um. <laughs> but I, 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 I love this thing. It is, it's giving me a little bit of the, the Mesco effect of the Ken doll feeling. Like holding it like this is like, man, is this a doll? I feel like that's but just because he's so fucking big though. I know it's just the size. It's mm-hmm. the size that kind of gives me a little weirdness, but I absolutely love this. And this is what I'm talking about when I want weird stuff. This is, it's weird, and it just doesn't even need to exist. But the fact that it is there makes me so happy. And no, it does not. Need it to does exist. too. Like, grant he was only in the movie for like five minutes. I feel like That's Super exactly Shredder why. is kind it's of a big deal, though. Like. If you're going with, all right, we don't have to break this down too far, but if you're going in like the ethos of like the movie universe, sure. But like if NECA's making turtles, like making toys for the movie universe, I guess I can't say that because I'm asking for like the boss of April. Yeah, and his you're, you're like, give me scumbag boss. Like, it just didn't need to exist though. Like, I mean, just because of like, I guess, I don't know. I just never looked at Shredder as like the bad guy. If that makes sense, is that fair? I don't so, know. Maybe so you're like, afraid. just because he's a bad guy doesn't mean he's a no. bad guy. <laughs> Not like that. I just, I don't know. I guess those movies, like Toka and uh, Razar, makes more sense to me of that being a thing. Oh, so you, you're looking at it as he wasn't the main antagonist who fought the turtles. Right. Because literally exactly. up until the end, he just kind of chilled in the back and was like, God, my life sucks because everything is falling apart, and this is what I—the hand I got dealt—because uh, right. of the stupid turtles. So, like, I, I see what you're saying in, in that sense that, like, he wasn't right. the main villain to the turtles per se. Right. And if Neca was like, you know what, we're just making the four turtles, and okay, we did like the one-off, like Casey Jones, like again, didn't need to exist. I'm so happy that it does. But this is what I mean by like weird you, that, is that does that make sense That's does, coming up to, to me no to me it doesn't, in my mind it's, it not, it's not weird because it's still super shredder it's shredder is a main character and the fact that he used the mutagen to enhance himself to a giant kevin yeah. ash 
um, and, dis- and dis- literally killed himself because he brought the pier down on himself trying to kill a bunch of turtles who could swim. Um, while I think he was very poorly used in the movie, he was still a big deal and not no no pun in- intended there. But we could have just got a regular Shredder, though. You know what I mean? And I'm sure the we will, but wait. at that point, sure. it's just going to be a, a different head sculpt with a different painted body. Yeah, but he's he can't be this big, though, right? No, he's. I'm talking about the the shredder they did for the first movie. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. There's that... gonna there's gonna update the head to have the broken up mask, okay. and then they're gonna paint his his glittery gi purple. That's fine. That's fair. I don't know. Just something to me. I, I guess in my mind, I would have not gotten a a super shredder, and. I don't know. Maybe that's just in this world that I live. Like, I can't wait till we finally actually get that, you know, April O'Neil with like the, the big hair, Mm -hmm. if that's ever going to happen. Um, because it's just so like, it's, it's almost so stupid that it's cool that it exists. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean by it. But yeah, I, I'm, I will be more excited elated maybe next episode. If I have something else here that is supposed to be here today, but you know, again, USPS, if you need some help, when I'm not working, <laughs> I can come and assist you, sort out some boxes or whatever you need. Just please get my shit to me. <laughs> I love the desperation. <laughs> it's, um, I'm desperate, man. Uh, I'm going to play with this while I get, I'm going to have a little bit of tears when I see what you got here. So go ahead. Uh, well, uh, so I'm going to start off. Uh... Oh, man, what do I want to start off with? You know what? You showed off your beefy boy. Let me show off my beefy boys. Um, oh, so I had a similar experience. I got that same email saying, "Please quit emailing us. We we were trying. They'll show up eventually." Um, <laughs> and then literally the same, not even the next day, the same day, I got a text from FedEx. But at this point, I have so many pre-orders that are converting. I'm like, "What the fuck's <laughs> coming now?" So. Right. I'm trying to figure it out, and then it says NECA. I'm like, oh, buddy. And then I got email, your Toka and Razar shipped. And then they showed up. And my God, these these are some beefy boys. Like, oh, yes. they're, they're, yes, oh, yeah. they're so cool. <laughs> I, I got lucky, and uh, both sets, no issues, at least none that I could find as far as, like, missing parts or, like, having two sets in the same hand or something like that. Uh, even even eyebrows here. I had to twist one to get it to work. Like I twist all the way around to get it to un, like snag, but his eyebrows work fine. Uh, I still have the second set for when you inevitably go. Did I fuck up uh, in a few days? Uh, so we'll see how that goes, and we'll we'll keep everyone posted on that story. Um, <laughs> so then I. This this purchase is kind of like a, I'm excited, but I'm also sad because I have to wait for the other half of it. Uh, I had been waiting and waiting, and it was actually street dated when Target got it, so I had to wait an extra day even after that. But I got the McFarlane Dark Knight's Death Metal Bat Cycle. Um, yeah, super excited for this, but now I have to wait till like February 10th for Batman to show up um, yeah. to ride on it. So it's it's cool, but it's like I want him now. And so right it's, probably on gonna be, it's gonna probably be street dated again. So I'm gonna run into that where it's gonna show in stock, and I'm like, yeah. And they're like, oh, we can't sell it to you for till tomorrow. And I'm like, damn it. Um. So then, well, I guess if you're watching this on Friday when the show airs, two days ago on Wednesday, I made the executive decision that since my birthday is coming up, I wanted to go to some actual collectible shops because up here on the mountain we don't have any. And I I went down to Phoenix and went to a few and it was real, like they were cool shops, but a lot of them were picked over or just didn't have anything that I was looking for. So it was really, really disappointing for the first half of the day. And then I went to Target just, just cause I was like, I need cheered up. There's gotta be something at Target, right? And there was, I found the Beast Wars version of uh, T-Rex Megatron and super exciting he will never be turned back into a dinosaur because i did it once just to prove i could and (laughs) i do not envy any parent who has to transform their kids transformers three times a day like that that experience was miserable mostly just because it wasn't like complicated to do but the pieces are like so clicked in in like tight and stuff that i felt like i was going to snap him in half trying to transform him (laughs) 
Um, it, just because I'm so used to NECA, where like if I would have done half of what I did to him to a NECA figure, I would have I've been had like a, a baggie of pieces uh, that <laughs> fell off. So that that was uh, my first set of excitement, and then we ended the day at mm. a comic book shop, and for I, they had some cool stuff, but I was just like, eh, there's not really anything that's like. I, I, I'm like super I need and the prices were still good so like even if I was would have been like okay I want this but it's not like high on my list I could still get it right. but then I found something that I was happy with and it was relatively cheap and it means I don't have to wait for my big bad toaster pruner and that is good old J. Jonah Jameson uh, uh, <laughs> that's so cool. I may still keep my pruner just because the retro cards look so cool but I had to take him out because I'm like, it's JJ. You can't, you can't leave him in a box. Um, <laughs> so super excited to get him and have him just screaming, bring me pictures of Spider-Man uh, on my shelf. But now it's time to induce some tears from Jamar um, because oh. this this last one, saving best for last, is the figure he is currently waiting on because he also is a child who is impatient. Um, so a quick little story like time. It you out huh? <laughs> you said, when you said it he's also a it, it oh, didn't it, pick up your audio didn't pick up like, you out. <laughs> well, here let me rephrase it again uh he also is an impatient child much like myself and <laughs> yeah. we both paid about 15 dollars extra to get this now versus waiting for our big bad toy store pre-orders to convert and that is the super seven ninja turtles ultimate leonardo and as you can see, I've already started the process of wrapping his arms and, and legs like I did for Raph. And I've already reviewed it. I am in the process of editing that. So that will be going up soon as just a separate review episode, not like as the weekly Monday one. So keep an eye out for that. But this, oh man, Super 7. Like if, yes. I, if, if I had to say right now, like if I was given the choice between keeping all my NECA figures or... Don't do it. Or do just it. getting all of the Super 7 oh. ones I want now, I, I'd go Super 7. Oh, God. <laughs> like, I, I, as much as I hate the Playmates figures, like, mm -hmm. bottom of my soul, I think they were the ugliest fucking toys on the face of the earth. The fact that I get this cooler version of the head, and I can alter them like so to make them look like the comic book turtles that I'll never get because fuck us for liking the current day comics. Um, the the posability, the accessories they come with, like NECA kills it. But hot damn, these figures are incredible. And, it's heartbreaking. And, and paying paying the fifteen dollars extra to get it now versus waiting a month for Big Dead Toy Store to finally convert over, hundred percent worth it. Zero regrets. I've been playing with that figure for the past like three days since it showed up. Um. <laughs> I literally had him before the show. I had him on the shelf in the sewer diorama, uh, sitting on the couch, playing uh, Turtles in Time against or with, I guess, Raph. And I, I'm just so excited. I can't wait for Mikey to come out. I can't wait. For, I definitely can't wait for Donnie or Rocksteady. Like, uh, I, I need these. Like, we talk about you being like, I need the NECA Turtles now and me being like, I need that four pack now. I need the rest of the Turtles from this set now. Like, it, it drives me crazy. I'm going to have to wait another year to get Donnie. Yes. It breaks my heart. Yeah. Um, I but, do appreciate them spacing them out and not just crushing you, you know, every month after month. And it gives you yeah. something to look forward to. But yeah, it's it's going to be tough waiting that long. My, um, my, I, I see my problem isn't so much like with the spacing out of the sets that I get because one manufacturing and two people's wallets, yeah. um, even though technically if you buy them from Super 7, it's not spaced out that much because you pay for them pretty close together and then you have to wait forever yeah. for them. You basically, um, the money now. So, yeah. But I, I will say this. the I, I wish they would have adopted the NECA model where all four Turtles would have came out because, let's be honest, yeah, the Turtles are selling points for the sets. But for the people who are buying this line, while, yeah, I did go places yesterday and I saw... The, the Splinter and a few others, and they had multiples of those, and only like one of Raph from Series 1. I, I still feel like you're not going to be like, oh, there's no turtle in this set. I don't want it. Like, you, no, they're doing these characters that are Playmates for the people who are literally going to buy the Playmates figures we talked about earlier. So, like, 
I, I, I can't imagine that it would have been a, 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 a like line killer to already have put the turtles out. Or at least do two and two. Do like yeah, two I turtles, two, two bad two. guys, two turtles, two bad guys, and then just expand the line from there. So um because guess what? This time next year, you're not going to have the turtles to depend on. So the line still has to survive without them. So there's really no excuse um, at that point. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm super excited for the, the rest of them. I'm super excited for when Bebop comes in. I am keeping my pre-order for the Leo because now that I'm going to get a second one, I can make City Fall Leo out of the other one. Ooh. Oh yeah, gonna paint that mask black, get him some some black wraps, get him the shredder claws on the arms. Yeah. Oh, buddy, I got some plans. <laughs> that sounds pretty exciting. I did cancel mine because I'm like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the second one. Um, but yeah, that's... I, I can't wait. USPS, again, if you need any help, I can leave the light on. If you need help finding my house, just please bring me my Ninja Turtle. <laughs> just let me know. I can, I can help you. But yeah, I, I had no problem with spending a little bit extra money on it just because... I did want it now, and I just have PTSD from uh, Big Bad Toy Store, so I just, I just, I don't know. I just can't trust it. I'm see, still you waiting. See, you my say time. you have PTSD from Big Bad Toy Store, but they haven't not shipped your items. They just, yeah, they I just, just take forever like to get them the, in. Exactly. That's what is it bothers me for an item that is available when I order it. I did the wrong shipping, and it take it. It was like the longest shipping ever <laughs> oh in the God. most entertaining <laughs> tracking situation of all time. And then for something that I'm actually just I paid for normal shipping, and I'm waiting for this Moffat Spider into the Spider Verse to just show up. It's never happening. So you know that's why I'm like, you know what? If I can buy it now, I'm gonna do it. Except for the spider-man because i'm too lazy to make a japanese amazon oh so yeah i literally sent you an a- amazon japan <laughs> link for yeah, like, just to shut you the fuck up about big bad toy store and you still won't buy it so i don't want to hear it i tried to log in with my account i'm like oh i gotta make it oh japanese. yeah you've got to make a japanese oh, one and you and you can't like the worst part is you can't link it to your your american one and get prime not that it matters because it's free oh, shipping anyway and it's not like it's gonna yeah. show up in two days from japan um you never know Hell, I can't get Amazon Prime to show up two days in America right now, let alone fucking from Japan. Hey, hey, um, I have a center by me, so it's no problem. No. Well, you know what? My Leo showed up first. <laughs> um, oh, God. Yeah, I had a reason I agree. The fact that if there's a store out there that has it in hand, I'll pay a little extra just to get it now since I unfortunately didn't want to fork over the money up front to pay it uh, Super 7. Yeah. And also, we were super late to this line because we didn't get into it until literally Raph was in hand. Right, when it was um, like, yeah, time to go. It was like, yeah. oh, wait, we got to get this stuff going now. And even you were a late bloomer because... I, I you, had to get Raph. You, you, like, did, yeah. you made fun of me for how much I loved Raph for the longest <laughs> time. And then like as they were announcing Donnie, you're like, fuck, I need these now. <laughs> <laughs> Which I paid 60 for for Raph, which is, mm-hmm. you know, that That's was what I did too. Yeah. yeah, so it's same thing I did for for Leo. So Te- fine. technically fine. speaking, I paid 130 for Raph because I ordered it on Amazon from a guy who was charging 75, oh, and when right. I found it for 60 on Facebook in hand, I went to cancel it and the guy made a tracking number so I couldn't. Uh <laughs> so I ended up with a second one that I, I I fucking ended up just selling to someone for what I paid for it because I was just like I just I don't need two Raphs like I almost contemplated keeping it just so I could have the red, like all red headband versions for all of them. But I was like, oh no, because their wristbands and, and elbow pads and knee pads are yeah. different colors. So that would just fuck me all up. <laughs> uh, I'd need four rafts and then two of all the other ones so I could switch out the belts just to but make that happen. Yeah, I'm about to say that you got to change the belts. Yeah. So that's that, a lot that would just work. be a nightmare in itself. So I was like, it's not worth it. I'd just get, get him out of here. The red band versions didn't have the, the num- name on the belt, anyways. True, so I could have just colored that out, but yeah. then, but then Leo went and had his straps for his yeah, swords and stuff, the whole is, thing. Yeah. So I would have still had to switch them out, but yeah. but yeah. Anyway, before we close out, I do want to let everyone know about the giveaway. As always, once we hit 350 YouTube subscribers, we'll give away a first place prize of the NECA Ultimate Metalhead. Yes, he's old news. But I guess what he's gonna get more rare because he hasn't been re-released a bunch of times like some of the new other That's sets true. have been. So he's free. So just do the next couple things and you could potentially win him. 
but we're also giving away a second place prize of the Extra Large NECA Musical Mutagen Tour Merch Box Bundle, which includes an Extra Large T-shirt, a tote bag, a souvenir ticket, backstage pass, and four guitar picks. All you have to do, it's real simple. You, you subscribe to the channel, and then you go to either Twitter or Instagram, which, whichever one you prefer. I will say Twitter is easier. Retweet the, the contest post or giveaway post. And then on Instagram, share the giveaway post. Now, you can't put these on your fleet or your story. They have to be on your actual page because I can't track them. And you have to use the hashtag ModernToyFair100. Simple rules. Again, subscribe to the channel because that's the whole point. And then share or retweet the giveaway post with the hashtag ModernToyFair100. On Twitter, it's the pinned post. Instagram, you might have to dig because I post a lot on there and it it gets jumbled around no matter how many times I repost it. So go do that. Two steps. Yeah. Two steps. And, and I don't know if people are doing it, but we're at least getting more subscribers. So they think we're entertaining or they are entering the contest. Who knows? I haven't checked the hashtag in a while, uh, <laughs> but we are currently sitting at, I believe it was 178 last I checked. And so we're we're inching there. We're we're we once we hit that 200, it's it's gonna skyrocket. We'll get to 350 like it's nothing. So share it with everyone. Share it with your friends, your family. Hell, send it to grandma. Make her think it's a chain oh, letter, grandma. and she has to subscribe to it, or her house is gonna burn down or something. I don't care. Like, <laughs> just 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 get us there. So get us there. Win get some this, free shit. Let's get us there just so we can do another giveaway. Exactly. And watch. Mike stumble over the new giveaway contest rules because you clearly have gotten this one down packed. You got it like almost memorized, so we need to mix it up for you. I mean, I still hard. stumble through it now, so I don't know what you're talking about, but that was, I mean, it was a flawless delivery in my eyes. <laughs> I appreciate that you're kissing up to the boss so you can keep your job. <laughs> Oh, man. But that is it for this week's Modern Toy Fair news. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Jamar, tell our wonderful fans about why are you a gamer. Yes. Uh, of course, I've said this a thousand times, but this may be the first time that you're listening to it. Why are you a gamer is a, I guess I'll call it a mini series because we just have the season one out right now, about 32 episodes of actually, guess what? Asking people, why are you a gamer? It's a really cool way to get to know like the gaming community. And I'm really excited to finally start getting it back up and going because kids are hard. But um, just just follow me at underscore or at Jamar underscore games just to know exactly when the new episodes and all that good stuff are coming up and who's going to be on the show. Maybe even you could be on the show. Jamar, yeah. Jamar isn't uh, isn't classist. He doesn't care if you're like some big fancy developer or if you're just some some guy you met on Twitter. He'll he'll yeah. talk to you about games. He just enjoys it. Want to know why do you play video games? Because I don't really know the answer myself. That's why. So <laughs> it's it's all just a self journey for Jamar to try to figure out who he is and why he plays video games <laughs> through through other people. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, so if for some reason you enjoy my lovely voice, you can catch me also over on the Gimmick Minute Wrestling Podcast. We'll be returning here later this month for the Royal Rumble, and it's essentially just me, Jason, and Kevin, and we kind of shoot the shit about the things that are going on in the wrestling world. We talk about the Wednesday Night Wars between AEW and NXT, and it's a lot of fun, and we get real ridiculous. If you think this show gets raunchy, oh boy, strap in. Uh... <laughs> If you'd like to support my channel, though, on top of subscribing, you can click the link below for tpublic.com where I sell shirts with our logos on them. I sell shirts with other random things I've made in Photoshop with all sorts of pop culture references, even the Why Are You a Gamer Ninja Turtles uh, shirt. So all sorts of options. If you even just click on it, look, I still appreciate you. Uh... As always, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment below about what is, excites you about the announcements this week, or last week, or any week. Or if there's something I miss, let me know. Because sometimes, the great internet machine, there's so much that I overlook things or simply just don't find them. So go ahead and do that. Leave us some comments. And click the little bell to get notified when our videos go up. We have Modern Toy Fair news on Fridays, and Modern Toy Fair reviews is technically on Mondays, but I'm sort of working it in to maybe get like two a week, or maybe every other week we'll have two. We'll kind of see how it goes. I'm kind of working out the kinks because I'm also resetting my uh, backdrop, as you can kind of see. So stay tuned for that as well. 
if for some reason you don't like staring at our beautiful faces, you can listen to our beautiful voices on the audio-only version of Modern Toy Fair News. That is currently available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Pocket Cast, Spotify, and other podcast apps you know and love. So check that out, and hopefully we will see you next week. Same toy time, same toy fair channel. Thank you for watching.